Hi, my name is Thomas Beezer. I'm a senior sales engineer with Okta, and we're here today to talk about the powerful integration that exists between Okta and ServiceNow. As you may know, Okta and ServiceNow, respectively, are best-of-breed solutions in the cloud space. Okta on the side of identity management in the cloud, and ServiceNow as an IT service management provider. Today, we're going to discuss, first of all, the fact that ServiceNow exists with over 2,000 other applications inside the Okta application network, where Okta provides single sign-on capabilities, full-blown user management in terms of automating the process of provisioning and deprovisioning SaaS and web-based application accounts, and also providing granular reporting information for security and compliance. This is really a phenomenal product fit because Okta can work with ServiceNow to automate some of the manual steps that exist today when it comes to IT service management. We'll walk through a very common workflow in the next step here and actually show you how that works in a product demonstration. So today, and one of the challenges today, is that a new employee, say a new hire inside the sales organization, needs a Salesforce Dot com account. Could be other accounts as well. Maybe accounts for SaaS applications like Box or potentially Office 365, Zendesk, maybe a travel application like Concur, and others. Today, IT administrators have to manually create those accounts and do their best to try to map what exists inside the user store, whether it be Active Directory or LDAP, for example and try to map those user accounts to the given SaaS applications. There's also complexity added when individuals leave an organization and the IT admin team needs to somehow try to determine what applications need to be uh, deprovisioned for security and compliance purposes. So today, again, with ServiceNow, you can have a new hire added to the applicable OUs or security groups and then you can close out a ticket. What's difficult today is getting those accounts provisioned and deprovisioned. And that's where Okta steps in to automate these manual steps. With Okta working with ServiceNow, Okta can basically be the piece of the puzzle that's missing. We can automatically provision accounts based on OUs or security group memberships inside an Active Directory user store, for example. In this case, a Salesforce.com account can automatically be provisioned along with other SaaS applications that you would want users to have as they are part of a particular security group. And then, of course, we can close out the ticket automatically inside ServiceNow. Let's walk through that demonstration, and then we'll talk about some of the benefits that exist here. Now, in ServiceNow, as you probably know, a service catalog can be gone to with a number of different options for IT administrators. One of those can be to add an employee to the corporate directory. Let's say we want to add a user, sales user 28. We'll say that they're an account exec of Fortune 500 companies. Their department is sales, all things we want to specify for Active Directory. And then specifically, we're wanting to put them in a security group that we have in our Active Directory called sales. Now, if we look at Active Directory, we'll see a number of users here up to user 27. Inside North America, we have a sales security group. Here are the members of that group, and you'll note that there is no user 28. What we're going to do is automate this piece of the process with ServiceNow's workflow editor and workflow engine. So we'll click order now, and then we can see the stage of the process. We can see that this is currently something in progress. We'll click here on the description to drill into the workflow itself so that we can see it in action. And we can see that first of all, we're creating the Active Directory user account. We will then reset the Active Directory user password based on AD constraints for that password policy, and then add this user to the sales security group. So it looks like the user has been created. Now we'll go to our top level here, we'll do a refresh, go into North America, and we can see sales user 28. The user has not been added yet because we haven't got to the step of adding the AD group memberships. So let's refresh here. 
Okay, it looks like the workflow has completed. So again, sales user 28 is there. Looks like we need to do a refresh. And then we'll see that user inside the North American sales group. Here's user 28. Now this could be other security groups as well. Now that that process completed, we can now go into Okta and again, we have an integration between Okta and Active Directory, or in some cust customer cases, LDAP. So we'll go to the login page. And this will be the first time the user has logged into Okta itself. Sales user 28 has been sent a password from IT. They're putting that AD password into Okta. And because of the integration, Okta is well aware of what that password currently is. And Okta also allows the password change to be enforced. Now we can also tie into the notion of self-service password reset management with Active Directory because of our integration as well. Now, generally speaking, a user, when they first activate their account, can be asked uh, some different questions related to a secondary email, uh, security questions. They can also specify a phone number for multi-factor authentication or to actually reset their AD password. And then finally, they will select an anti-phishing security image. Their account will be created. And then upon their first login, they will see the different applications that they've been granted entitlement to based on the security group memberships inside Active Directory. So in the case of Salesforce, not only does the icon show up on their Okta dashboard, but the user can single sign on directly to their Salesforce account. Now because Okta provides the authentication as well as the provisioning and the deprovisioning, we have some fantastic ways to report for security and compliance purposes what users have gotten access to in terms of SaaS and web-based applications when it comes time to run an audit. Now let's talk about some of the benefits of this integration. First of all, we're really bringing about added IT efficiency and saving on IT costs. The manual time that it takes hours throughout a month or year for new users to be onboarded is quite substantial. The second thing here is the automation of AD users being provisioned to SaaS and deprovisioning as well. Not only are we reducing IT headaches, but we're making happier IT engineers and we're refocusing those IT energies on things that can also be greater parts of potential automation. Finally, we're increasing security around SaaS and web-based applications and achieving higher compliance pass rates when it comes to internal or external audits. Thanks for your time today. Hopefully you've been able to see some of the benefits that come about through integrating Okta and ServiceNow. And if you have any questions, please contact your local Okta sales rep for more information. Thanks for your time.